Hey, so what's going on guys? My here Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So today I got an update on the Sirocco is that the turbo was giving some issues so it had some white smoke issue for the past um, couple of weeks ever since I did the Stage 2 tune. So I guess uh, the Stage 2 tune, uh, the boost is slightly higher than the Stage 1, slightly. I think like around 0 0.2, 0 0.3 bar. So um, anyway, the turbo was uh, pretty much due for a overhaul replacement for the last actually a while but because stage one wasn't stressing it out too much uh, so it didn't have much white smoke but currently it's actually at Volkswagen Garage which I will show you guys in a moment uh, what they're doing to the turbo they're actually replacing it with another half cut turbo so uh, I was actually kind of skeptical whether to get a half cut turbo or to get like an upgraded turbo but uh, in terms of cost wise at the moment with my current setup because I'm not going for forged pistons just yet but when I do go for forged pistons I will definitely get like a KO4 hybrid turbo or some stuff like that uh, so I'm still surveying on the turbo but for now because I do have a toge session this Friday so the time I'll be posting this video so yeah I do need the car pretty fast so yeah thanks to Volkswagen Auto Garage for actually really handling my car really really fast when I need something they just uh, go and get it done for me pretty quickly and they do save me some cost sometimes you know when they diagnose a wrong issue sometimes it's just a very minor issue which can be fixed without changing a major part okay so we have both of the garage so they actually taken out the original turbo right here so the original turbo is like Actually, pretty worn out. So, they have actually installed the new one here. So, this is a half cut from the Polo GTI. Yeah, basically, let's hope everything works as planned and then the car should be running in no time. All right, guys, so it's been around three to four days since I shot the last clip of where I showed you the turbo replacement. The reason being is that when I brought the car back. I did some runs with the car just to make sure everything was fine and everything was fine until the mecha decided to give up you know so yeah so the car is in the shop now and it's getting its mecha replaced the car actually is supposed to be done tomorrow but I did get some info that they have actually replaced the mechatronic already so yeah I'm just going to go and see what's going on with the car but I hope this will be the last replacement I spent like a ton of money the last couple of months uh, actually doing up the car getting into stage 2 plus so yeah all these are adding on to the uh, maintenance cost basically of the, to just to drive the car around so I'm yeah kind of uh, bummed that I actually had to spend so much money uh, all of a sudden so the mechatronic I did replace it back in 2011 at the Volkswagen dealership so they actually gave me um, goodwill warranty thing uh, I just had to pay a small fee and then they got my clutch replaced they got my mechatronic replaced and then after that subsequently the following year the gearbox had to be sort of overhauled so they actually got rid of the bearing and then they replaced it to, uh, to some sort of a bushing a sleeve kind of thing to make sure that it is durable especially with the power and pushing uh, so yeah so in subsequent year I actually spent like quite a lot of money just fixing the gearbox stuff itself and then now it's the Mecca's turn again after two and a half years approximately. So yeah, I guess a uh, tough luck for me. But uh, so far, uh, the car has been really good. Other than that, uh, of course, you know, give or take the wear and tear stuff that you definitely have to consider in when you're buying like a, a car used. Of course, now the car is already, I believe, 10 years old, 11 years old, 10 years old. If you come from manufacturing date, you'll be 11 years old. But if you come from registration date, you'll be 10 years old. So of course, uh, 10 years old car, yeah, definitely are things to get sorted out. Especially with the style of driving that I normally do. I do a lot of toge sessions in Genting and of course do drives and stuff like that. So definitely the mileage covered, which means that uh, there will be significantly higher wear and tear, of course, maintenance side. But I've actually replaced almost, I would say almost everything. That needs to be replaced so i pray that uh the mechatronic will be actually the last thing on the list all right so let me head over to Volkswagen garage and i'll show you guys the car i hope it's done and i can collect it today because i'm actually missing it really so much because uh yeah i love driving it around to be honest even though the the maintenance is sometimes a pain in the ass uh anyways i'll see you guys there and then i'll give you an update on the car itself 
Alright guys, so we are at Vox Hotel Garage. I'll show you the Mecca because they have actually showed me the Mecca and said the Mecca is done. So yeah, my car is there. So it seems the Mecca, one of the whatever actuator thing is broken. So this is my old Mecca from Volkswagen itself. Look at it. That's how a Mecca looks when it's taken out. So you do have to actually change the gear oil every 40,000 kilometers, not the Mecca oil, the gear oil. Just to ensure the gearbox runs smoothly. Let's check out the car. Okay, just ignore the guys behind. They're having a fun time. As usual. And actually, it's a good thing that they are pretty comfortable with me. Like, you know, making my videos and stuff here. Not many shops, you know. Actually, do like the idea of that. Yeah, so, you can't really see much. Show you. Pop the hood. So, just give you a look at the gearbox section let's make sure they put everything back so the mecca is somewhere over down there I don't think you come there i don't think you can't really see everything but uh yeah let's hope it let's hope it's all good so let's take this bad boy for a spin and then i'm gonna head home and put my x50 back home and then take this car back so I'm super excited, I get to drive this car again Of course it was a painful moment To spend quite a bit of money To get this car all settled But yeah Part of being a car guy you know Alright let's see What else, so oh, I have low fuel Okay here we go right, Let's put the aircon back on Super hot in here okay, Low fuel so I'm not going to really like you know, I just probably go for like a chill round or something. All right, so let's put this car in gear. So in order to know the mechatronic issue, let me lower the aircon for a bit. So in order to know the mechatronic issue is that you will have like a spanner icon there when you shift the gear or my in my case, uh, gear, all the even gears weren't working. Uh, but apparently the reverse was working, which was kind of funny. Uh, normally the 246 reverse is on one section and then another one uh 1357 because this is a seven speed dsg all right so let's just take this guy for a spin but they've already tested it last so it should be all good all right let's just go for a round make sure the gear changes smooth oh it's actually pretty good very smooth change they have done the adaptation so it's a good thing the shop and then I'll pick it up later on in the evening all right so let's just see the engine's pretty cold so I'm not gonna like rev it and stuff just gonna have a chill drive just make sure all the gears change well very smooth yeah not janky like the previous Mecca all right so I guess that's about it for this video so these three months has been a journey in fact has been an expensive journey for me because everything came so suddenly but anyways yeah i'm really happy with the result and the fact that i at least i have peace of mind for the next i guess two three years yeah. but because i do go to Kenting for quite a bit quite a couple of times uh, yeah i hope this lasts actually I'm kind of skeptical but uh, you always prepare for a rainy day right okay so thanks guys for watching i hope you guys found this video informational of course, the Mechatronic second-hand one ranges from around 3005, 3008. And then if you want to buy an OEM one, which I wouldn't say is the most uh, reliable, I would say, because it's OEM, not the original one. Uh, but of course, you will take your chances, right, with it. So same with this uh, used one, which I have right here. This is actually a used Mechatronic. But just because the used Mechatronic is actually original from Volkswagen. So you definitely will be better off than... The OEM ones because I know the OEM ones are kind of uh, I wouldn't say consistent like in their qualities and stuff like that but anyways uh, it's your based on your luck just like how you buy a new car and then you know some people have problems or some people have like zero issues with the car so it's always like this when having too many mechanical parts you know and electronics in the car all right so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video of course do not forget to subscribe and also like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.